But the big question is, are Ecuador going to be there or are they going to be expelled by FIFA? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at the country's banned from the FIFA World Cup. FIFA has the power to suspend the Iranian Football Federation immediately which of course would mean that they would be effectively banned from the World Cup. For this list, we're looking at nations that were banned from attending certain World Cups and the reason why. We won't be looking at those barred during qualifications that affected them from going to the tournament, like Kuwait in 2018. Which nation in the video didn't deserve to be banned? Let us know below. The German States When World War II kicked off, FIFA put their illustrious tournament on a hiatus for 1942. With Germany under his total control, Hitler would shift his focus to global domination, setting the stage for World War II. Then, when the war ended in 1945, the football-slash-soccer organization had little time to arrange one for 1946, so that too was cancelled. But 1950 went ahead. However, for the Germans, there wasn't going to be a trip to Brazil for any of their nations. The shadow of war loomed over it, with occupied, partitioned Germany and occupied Japan ineligible for consideration. At the time, Germany was split into three entities, East Germany, West Germany and Saarland. On top of other sporting events, all three were banned from the FIFA tournament for their part in the horror. However, the restriction was lifted for the 1954 edition. In that World Cup in Switzerland, West Germany ended up winning the whole thing. <laughs> Japan Alongside their Axis powers colleagues, Japan was also prohibited from entering FIFA's World Cup in 1950. Beyond a few non-official international matches, the Asian nation hadn't played an ELO-rated match, the world ranking table, since 1940. But once the ban was lifted in 1950, Japan began rebuilding its footballing reputation. Japanese football has clearly come a long way. Who knows what the Blue Samurai might eventually achieve. It rejoined FIFA, signed up for the 1954 World Cup qualifiers, and formed the Asian Football Confederation with other countries. But Japan struggled to get a ticket to the World Cup. They missed the ticket for USA 94 after failing to beat Iraq in the final qualifying match, remembered by fans as the agony of Doha. They either withdrew or didn't get through qualifying. It wouldn't be until 1998 that Japan finally arrived at a World Cup. Japan had only reached the tournament thanks to a dramatic golden goal in a playoff with Iran. Their prize was to walk out with Argentina, one of the giants of world football. Since then, Japan has attended every World Cup. South Africa No country has been on FIFA's no-entry list longer than South Africa. Back in 1957, the African nation co-founded the Confederation of African Football, or CAF. But there was a problem. South Africa was big on segregation. The policy governed South Africa for nearly 50 years. But racial segregation existed long before apartheid even began. As such, they had separate football federations for races, such as the All-White Football Association of South Africa. While the other nations in CAF were not happy and removed South Africa. By 1961, after ignoring an ultimatum by FIFA to curb their apartheid policies, South Africa was disqualified from the World Cup. Uh, there was uh, increased calls for the divestment uh, uh, of uh companies from South Africa. There was a global movement to boycott South Africa. This ban meant they couldn't attend any of the tournaments from 1970 to 1990. When apartheid was abolished, South Africa was able to compete and first arrived at the World Cup in 1998. <laughs> Mexico. Mexico has the dishonor of being the first World Cup hosting nation in 1970 to be banned from a future tournament, and it was all due to shenanigans. Known as the Cachirula scandal, the North American nation fielded at least four overage players for the 1988 CONCACAF Under-20 Championship. This was a qualifying event for the 1989 FIFA World Youth Championship. The fraudulent players were between two to four years over the age limit. When this came out, Mexico was disqualified from the youth championship, with the U.S. taking its place. The consequences continued, as the senior squad was prohibited from FIFA events over the next two years, ruling them out of the Summer Olympics and the 1990 World Cup. Chile 
in 1989, Brazil faced off against Chile in a qualifying match for the 1990 World Cup. Correcto now. Is this the first? With the hosts leading, something weird happened. Chile's goalkeeper, Roberto Rojas, went down in his penalty area, clutching his wounded face with a lit flare thrown from the crowd nearby. His teammates refused to continue, and the game was canceled. However, TV cameras were everywhere. It showed that Rojas wasn't struck by the flare at all. It looks like a firework. He fell to the floor and used a hidden razor blade to give himself a grisly injury. This plan was concocted by Chile's staff. This scandal, known as El Maracana, resulted in a life ban for Rojas, which was lifted in 2001. It also prohibited Chile from the 1994 World Cup. Myanmar This Southeast Asian nation has had a bit of an on-again, off-again relationship with FIFA in the past couple of decades. However, with recent political reform, things are changing rapidly and international isolation appears to be ending. In one instance in 2001, Myanmar was set to face Iran for a qualifying match for the 2002 World Cup. Only they decided to pull out at the last minute, leaving FIFA with no alternative fixture and withdrew themselves from the 2002 event. The team has recently struggled to even compete with their Southeast Asian neighbors. As such, the football organization fined Myanmar $23,500 and barred them from the 2006 tournament in Germany. During a World Cup qualifier in 2014 against Oman, crowd trouble from Myanmar led to them being banned from the 2018 tournament. But this was changed on appeal to having their home matches on neutral ground and a fine of $28,000 instead. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Russia Having hosted the 2018 World Cup, Russia soon saw its international sporting name dragged through the mud when the doping scandal erupted. But then, to make it worse for themselves, their government invaded Ukraine in 2022. Football is totally united uh, and it's showing full solidarity with the people of Ukraine. And that is why they've decided that Russia is going to be banned from football. This forced numerous nations like Poland, the British nations and Albania to refuse to play Russia. FIFA initially did a half-hearted punishment. There's been an immediate backlash to FIFA's announcement, with Poland leading calls for Russia to be kicked out of the World Cup. And they say they will refuse to play any version of the Russian team. They prohibited the country from competing under the name Russia, banned their national anthem, and forced them to play home games on neutral grounds. After the backlash, FIFA bit the bullet and barred the team from competing in international tournaments, including the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. While Russia appealed, it was unsuccessful. They're also banned from competing in UEFA Euro 2024. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.